Don't ever use your strippers to cut this. Ever. Don't ever use your strippers to cut RG6. One time my mom did that, and I haven't spoke to her in 17 years. So, it's a big deal. Hi everybody, and welcome to another installment of You Do AV. I'm Alan, and today we're going to learn how to make our own AV cables. So, um, the first thing that we need to do is we need to pick out what type of wire we're going to use. So, <clears throat> there's a few different types of, um, we call them RG wires. So there's RG6, which this is a piece of RG6. Then you have RG quad shield, which is just like this, but it has an extra layer of shielding on it. We don't use RG6 quad shield very often anymore. Um, sometimes you'll use it for like long satellite cable installations or long um, regular cable TV installations, but we just don't use it very often anymore. You don't see it very often anymore. But it's still out there, and if you choose to use it, there's nothing wrong with it. So this is RG6, regular RG6. This right here is another cable I really like a lot. This is called Mini RG59. Um, RG59 is solid copper, and you can see this wire is pretty bendable. So if you're trying to make wires to go in between your AV equipment, say on your AV rack, and you want to make all of your own custom length cables, RG uh, Mini RG59 is a good option. See, this is RG6. It's not super bendable. I mean, it's pretty stiff. So this wouldn't be a really good cable to use if you're trying to connect your equipment on the rack. This is more of the type of wire that we like to use when we do subwoofer cables or really long runs. Um, we use this. RG59 is a little bit more expensive, or mini RG59 is a little bit more expensive. RG6 is really cost effective. They also make a regular size RG59, which is this same size cable. It's a little bit smaller, but it's solid copper on the inside, whereas RG6 is copper clad aluminum. So RG6 is an aluminum conductor with a copper cladding, kind of like how they do gold plating. This has like copper plating on it. So that means that since this is a copper wire, don't ever use your strippers to cut this, ever. Don't ever use your strippers to cut RG6. One time my mom did that, and I haven't spoke to her in 17 years. So it's a big deal. Always when you're gonna cut RG6, use a hardened cutter like Dykes or something like that. They'll cut and they won't mess it up. You try to use your strippers one time on this, ding, done, throw them away, okay? But you can use your strippers on RG59 all day long. It's solid copper. So. <clears throat> Once you have your wire picked out, you need to pick out your connector. Um, there's lots of different options out there. This is called an F connector. I already have an F connector on this wire right here. The F connector is the spinny wire. This is the one that you connect to the back of your TV or the back of your cable box. So we used to use in the old days. Uh, we still use it today, um, but just for different purposes. So that's an F connector. This right here is an RCA connector. Okay, all RCA connectors are the same. Whether it's component video, composite video, subwoofer cables, whatever, all RCA cables are the same. They're all interchangeable. There's different quality cables, different quality conductors, different quality connectors, but the idea is all the same. You just have a, a core right here in the middle and an outer jacket, and that's it. Look at this, crazy look. You got a core in the middle. See a little needle in the middle? You have an outer jacket, holy smokes. Look at this, this is a BNC cable. Core in the middle, outer jacket. You guys starting to see a pattern here? All cables that we use, uh, I can't say all cables, all of these analog cables, this style cable that we use RG6, RG59, it's all the same idea. You have an outer jacket with an inner conductor. Obviously HDMI, S-Video, things like that are different, but um, all of you, these style cables are the same. So I can put whatever connector on it I want. So we'll start with this. This is RG6, I'm gonna take my stripper, line the wire up to the end of the stripper, just like that, just give her a few spins. I like to squeeze it and twist too, that way it gets a good strip. All right, then it's gonna strip it off like that where you've got jacket, then you should have some braiding right there, some stranded braiding, some shielding there. Pull all that shielding back. Very important, you get all of it. And then you look up here at the needle and you wanna make sure that there's no, none of this braiding is touching that needle. Not even one hair, not even half of it. You don't even want the hair to think about touching that needle. Don't even let, if, if this hair talks about touching that needle, get rid of it. Don't even let it happen, okay? Then I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna kinda pick at it, make sure it's nice, clean center, just like that. See that? Everything is peeled back. 
Then I'm going to take my connector. In this case, I'm going to use a uh, RCA. I'm going to put the RCA connector on there, and it's going to kind of stop a little bit. That's not where it needs to go. It needs to go in. You should have to put a little bit of muscle on there, just a little bit. Push it on there, and then you'll feel it really stop. Once it's on there, you're done. Just kidding, you're not done. You gotta compress it. These are called compression, oops, these are called compression, gosh darn it. These are called, <laughs> these are called compression fittings. If I can get that sentence out one of these days. Squeeze that sucker, just like that. You can see all of that plastic is now gone. It's just a metal band. You pull on that thing, these compression fittings like these are super strong, super strong. Just like that, they don't come off, okay? I mean, I'm sure if you hooked them to the back of a truck, it'd come off, but they ain't gonna come off by accident. That's, that sucker's on there. So there's one side. Now for the other side, I can choose whatever fitting I want. I can put another RCA on here. I can put an F connector on here. It really depends on your application. Um, most of you guys are probably gonna go RCA to RCA. But just to mix it up, just to mix it up, I'll do RC, oh, I don't want to do a BNC. My BNC connectors, they're a little bit expensive. I don't want to use those. I'll go RCA to RCA. Don't judge me. Don't judge me because I don't want to waste money. Okay, push that sucker on there. See if I can do it without making a fool of myself. Squeeze, done. All right, that's an RCA cable. It's gonna work perfectly. It's a nice quality cable, it'll get great signal, it's gonna last forever, okay? This will outlast you and all of your kids. So, really good cable, done. This is RG59 Mini right here. I've already made a connector. I've already made the cable up where I put F on one side and RCA on the other, but because I like you guys, I'm gonna cut the F connector off. That's like $1.25. Okay, now, um, and once you compress it, by the way, once you compress them, they're done. You don't save them, okay? If you compress it and you make a mistake and the wire, the connector's no good or your signal's all jacked up, in the trash it goes. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a different stripper this time. This is the mini RG59 stripper. Sometimes these things give me a hard time. Give it a good squeeze. Pop. Look at that. Didn't come off. You can see... It goes jacket and then needle. It's not supposed to go that. It's supposed to go jacket, then shielding, and then the needle. So I'm going to try to strip it back a little bit more. Ah, got it that time. Okay, if you look now, you've got jacket, shielding, then the needle. And this guy, for whatever reason, I've, I've tried different strippers. I've tried different wire. I've never had a lot of luck of getting a nice clean strip. So this braiding always gets wrapped around the needle, which remember from before, we don't like that, okay? So you gotta get all of that braiding off of there. And you don't wanna bend the needle at all. Make sure that needle stays nice and straight. Okay, now, I don't know if you can see on camera, but there is a little bit of foil touching the needle. Also bad, very bad, we don't want that. So I'm gonna take my fingers here. I don't know why I'm an AV guy. I should be a hand model, it's crazy. I would make millions. Put my hands in one of those glass bowls. Like on a... I uh, can't remember that movie. Why don't you guys comment below and tell me what that movie's called. That guy's in the graveyard and he's got his hands in the glass bowls. Okay. So now I've got it all peeled back. Got it on there. Um, if your shielding like doesn't strip clean and it's a little bit longer, I don't know, you can cut it just a little bit. I had a couple hairs, I had about five hairs that were longer than the rest, so I just trimmed them back. Okay, that's my no good one. Here's the one I want. All right, so it's just an F connector. Remember, F is the spinny kind. And then I'll stick it in there. <gasps> Wrong size. Look, if you look, this is not a mini. This is a regular RG6. Not gonna fit. Gonna hit pause, be right back. All right, I'm actually all out of the, uh, I've only got like two left, these F connectors. So I'm gonna go back to RCA. So this one's gonna be another RCA to RCA. Same thing, I'm gonna put it together. And these ones are nice because you can kind of see through that little gap right there. 
you can kind of see the wire on video I don't know if you can see it but you can see the wire passing through there and then you can see where the wire is supposed to stop and that makes it kind of nice all right once you're all done then bam this one's clicks so you're wondering where in the world do I find these things how do I know what to get um, we've thought of everything don't worry about it so if you look on the bottom of this video underneath this video where it says description click on that we're gonna tell you where to get the right tools we're gonna tell you where to get the right wire um, where to get the right connectors it's important that you get the right ones they've all got to fit they've all got to be compatible um, and when you guys click from the website and you buy the products that we tell you to buy clicking from our website then we get a little kickback and when I mean little I mean little um, but it helps us make these videos these videos are free to you guys you watch them all you want um, but we make a little bit of money, so make sure you click on the ones that, that we're telling you to click on. Not just because we make money on it. Um, we're not clicking on the ones to make it to where, that where we make money. We make money on any of the purchases that you make from our website or from our, web, uh, from our YouTube videos. We're telling you to click the ones that we think are the best ones to click. Um, they're the ones that we use. They're the ones that work best. So your tools might look a little bit different. My tools are old. The new styles are a little bit prettier, especially the compression tools. So... Um, I really like this this RG59. It's a little bit expensive, but uh, it's a really good cable. It's a good high quality signal. And when you get the RCA connectors, these are tight. And when you put it onto your um, little stub, when you plug this into your device, it should feel tight. It should feel like you really got to put some pressure on there. That's a good tight connection. You don't want these things to expand and and lose connection and, and um, that'll kind of kill your signal. So a good, nice, tight connection, good high quality wire, and you're gonna have a good quality signal. So as always, uh, make sure you comment below, tell us, tell us what you like and don't like. If there's a video that you wanna see, let us know. I'm Alan, and today we did AV. Now you do AV.